Yo, what's up guys? John Madden, YouGoProBaseball.com. I got a question today from Gonzo B. Crazy, yo. His question is, hey John, just wondering what you did after a start to recover for your next start. Did you run, stretch, throw? If you can go in details and specifics by day by day, and how many reps or distance effects? Well, that's a great question. Gonzo be crazy, yo. Um, and I, my routine changed as I went. Obviously, I was a, a reliever in pro ball my last two years of college. But through high school and college, my first two years of college when I was a starter, my routine um, kind of developed and changed and evolved through time. And I think it would have, if I stayed a starter, probably would have continued to evolve as I went. And I think that's kind of how you need to look at it from that perspective, meaning where you're at today, you kind of make little tweaks and changes to it as you're going until you feel what works for you best, okay? Um, now, I do have something specific as far as reps and, and what to do day by day in the Pitching 365 program. It's actually, uh, I have a seven day pitching routine, which means if you pitch once every seven days, which would be like a uh, college, pitcher or a travel ball pitcher who's pitching on the weekends. Um, so that would be a seven day routine or a five day routine which would be a, an independent independent league pitcher or a professional baseball pitcher who's pitching every five day or every or, you know a five man rotation. So I've got that routine, I've got the seven day routine and then I've also got a relievers routine um, in the pitching 365 uh, pitching program. So I'll leave a link for that down here. Uh, you can check that out. But uh, basically if I'm guessing that you're on a seven-day schedule where you're pitching once, starting once every week, and maybe you'll relief, uh, relieve in the in the middle of the week or something like that. That's typically how mo most high school or college uh, teams do it. Um, if that's the case, you're most got. You're either going to have one or two bullpens. Okay, it depends on the player. Again, I was a one bullpen guy. I didn't like to throw two bullpens before my next start. So I would only throw one, and it would be on that uh, one to that fourth day going into it. And it would be a light bullpen, just finding the release point, really getting extended, finding my other, my secondary pitches, uh, whatever I needed to work on from the last game, that's what I would take out there to, onto the mound. And I would not be, um, you know, 120%. I'd be close to 100%, but not 120%. Just getting my feel really getting a good release on those pitches, finding the release point for all of my pitches, and then just shutting it down just to stay crisp and stay on the mound. Um, in the other days, I'd be, my first couple days would be recovery, um, especially the first and second day, uh, where I, so, it depended on my soreness where I would throw or wouldn't throw on the first day depending on how sore I was, and the second day would be playing catch or maybe a light long toss depending on how I feel. So I really kind of played it by ear, um, but I, I kind of had a, uh, a set uh, structure set routine for you know how I felt in those days so but there's a more specific like I said more specific uh, plan in the P pitching 365 uh, pitching program and again I'll leave the link down here so if you want to check that out if you want something a little more specific uh, that'll be in there the seven day the five day and the relief pitchers routine as well as a warm-up how to find a pitchers warm-up uh, which is which is huge, I think, um, the warm-up routine for the starting pitcher. So check that out as well, and you can get it in the pitching program. Hope that answers your question. Uh, God's will be crazy, yo. Uh, if you guys have any more questions, let me know. I'll be happy to answer them. The best ones I'll answer on video. Um, if you haven't already, subscribe, and go join the free newsletter at YouGoProBaseball.com. And I hope this helps. Let me know. All right? Take it easy, guys. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe and then join the free newsletter at YouGoProBaseball.com.